1037 KVIL. He is in studio, Sean T. We are all geared up. Sean Trevention happening tomorrow in Frisco. This is a life-changing opportunity. Hi everyone, Lacey Prude here with the Healthy Housewives, and guess where we are today? We're in Dallas, Texas at Sean Intervention. You may or may not know Sean T from his Beachbody fame, but today we're going to have a live workout with Sean T. We're going to have some health tips from him, and we're going to leave here more motivated to do life right. Now if everybody's ready, let's dig deeper. Guess who I ran into at the Chantravention? It's Marcia Prince. Marcia and the Healthy Housewives are helping to sponsor the event today in Dallas. And Marcia, why would this event be so popular and something that you want to promote as a Healthy Housewife? Well, you know what? People want to be motivated, okay? They look for that. Just like, you know, bathing daily, you have to be motivated and stay motivated. And, you know, and Sean T, he's such a wonderful motivator to these people. We have an obesity epidemic right here in America. So just spreading the health and fitness love around and motivating these people to get active is just bottom line. with Danielle Henson. We are at the Sean Intervention here in Dallas and Danielle is part of the street team for the event. Now Danielle you can tell she stays really fit but in her spare time she's the social media strategist for Sean T and Sean T Fitness. Tell me a little bit about that. Um, so I just basically help him market um, everything that he's doing via Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and now something new called Hang With. Um, and also, I just kind of travel with him, do his live workouts, and uh, I also help promote Insanity, which is now a group exercise format um, all across the country. You know, so I just do it all, and then I throw in a couple kids, and I feed them every once in a while, and we're good. with Sean T and we're still at the Sean Intervention here in Dallas, Texas. Go ahead, motivate our viewers. Somebody out there thinks they can't do insanity. What do you tell them? Look, I say, first of all, if you can't do insanity, there's something out there that you can do. It might not be power jumps, but the thing is you take, take it one step at a time. Five seconds of exercise is better than zero seconds of exercise. So even if you have to take baby steps to make leaps and bounds, that's okay. But to get into insanity, it's a mental thing that you have to dig deep and know that you have to trust and believe in yourself and just tell yourself, I can do it all the way through and you will succeed. I love it. We're going to dig deeper now. Yes, we are. 